Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and today I have a really quick card for you guys, and it's for the Fantabulous Cricut.com um, challenge, and the challenge is to make a sweet summer treat. So for me, I well, I like popsicles, and I like. Um, fresh berries and all that good stuff but what I really really crave is a really lovely ice cream sundae so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the sweet shop cartridge and I am going to be making this ice cream sundae right here and I'm using um, a couple of the new products that I had um, shown in one of my hauls and that is the pre-made my mind's eye cards and I happen to have, I also bought it at uh, Marshall's, the Lime Twist paper 6x6 that goes along with it. It's Life of the Party and this is the one that I chose to work with and the back side of this paper, let's see, here's the paper, the back side of it is this uh, pretty pink. I'm going to go ahead and use this side to coordinate and accent my um, my cut. So let me show you what we've got here. This is the pre-made card. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And what I decided to do was to um, cut a mat. And the mat is cut at four inches. This is from Elegant Edges. And I just took my white gel pen and did some doodling so you can see the doodling right there so just some dots and little dashes and things like that just to kind of accent my cut and that's going to go down there and then here is my cut it is the ice cream sundae i'm looking for this which i'm going to use three and a half inches and I used um, this pretty my mind's eye paper for the cup or the bowl of my ice cream sundae. This ice cream is pink, so I'm having a strawberry sundae, so it kind of matches. And this is chocolate, my brown, and I did a little bit of doodling there. I also did a little bit of doodling along um, my bowl in black. And I used the uh, Martha Stewart writing pen 0.5 to do my doodling. I put my cut together with my two-way glue pen and I put it on foam tape. So let me go ahead and get this portion of the card put together. And I'm going to just use my ATG. Let's see. I'm going to have this go near the top because I've got a sentiment for the bottom. So I'm going to take the foam off of here. And this is a very quick and easy card. But I love being able to use some of the new product that I got. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fit this right here. So there is my Sunday. And I just have a piece of um, red satin ribbon and I closed it up with a glue dot and I actually had this just kind of lying around in my stash so it's a good way to use those little pieces that you have and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a glue dot to put this down and that's just going to go let's see my sentiment I actually want it to be here. So that's going to go down there. And then this is my sentiment. It says, Ain't Life Swell. And this is from the Country Living by Pink by Design. And I used um, Ain't Life Swell. And I stamped this in this new Raspberry Ripple ink pad. It's the new ink color by Stampin' Up! And they have redone their ink pads, so I might eventually have to rebuy them. They're kind of a, a foam now, but, um, so it's not that hard, that hard pad. It's, it it kind of sinks down a little bit, but it, it stamps really nice. You just got to make sure that you don't get stamp ink everywhere. Okay, so I stamped it with that. 
and I mounted it on a piece of white and then a piece of red and what I did to notch my corners is I used a, um, a square punch I use a square punch and what I do to make that notch is I go ahead and I, I stick my paper in to the square part here and I make my notch. Let's see if I have a scrap piece of paper I can show you guys. So I take my paper and I create a little notch that way. So quick and easy way, I mean, you know, there's a lot of banner dies and, and things like that now, but that was just the quick and easy. So I have this on some foam tape as well, so I'm just going to take these little pieces off. And place that right here at the bottom. And for my finishing touch, I'm using this Xmas Red um, Stickles which is actually my favorite glitter glue in the whole wide world and um, I love this stuff and I use this in some way in almost every card that I make especially on my Cricut cuts because it just really I think adds a little something so just a little bit here on my cherry I have to let that dry but here is my card, Eight Life Swell, and this is for the Fantabulous uh, Cricut Challenge. And I will be posting this card on my blog. But thank you very much for making a card with me today. Have a great day. Thank you.